What's going on, friends? Sam Pretty's back once again. E3D have just sent me this box, and apparently inside of it is going to be the solution for abrasive materials with Bamboo Lab printers using E3D technology and also Diamond Bag. Now, of course, Polymaker have just released their new fiber on range, and well, most of this stuff is carbon fiber infused. So, well, let's get into this one. You are watching a master at work. This channel is sponsored by Polymaker and PCBWay, the best choice in filament and PCB manufacturing. So let's start with what makes this hot end stand out. Well, first of all, it's not just another brass or steel replacement. It's designed with Diamondback's revolutionary polycrystalline diamond, which is PCD. This is not just a coating. These are composed from multiple tiny diamond crystals with a proprietary binder that forms a matrix of crystals joined with a diamond to diamond bond. This significantly increases its durability. So what does this mean for you? Well, if you're someone that prints with abrasive materials like carbon fiber, glass filled nylon, or even glow in the dark filaments, you'll know how quickly standard nozzles can wear down. This new hot end is built to last much longer, even when handling the toughest filaments. That means fewer replacements and a more consistent print quality over time. This is especially in tune for some of the up and coming projects that I have coming up We're using Fibron, filaments by Polymaker, which in most cases are exotic, high heat and carbon fibre infused. As I'll be printing with Fibron, and if you decide to also do the same, there is a page dedicated to the filament profiles that can be used with Bamboo Lab printers. All you need to do is download and import the config file, select the filament from the drop down box and slice and send, you're ready to go. So this little nozzle right here is currently retailing or will be retailing for 125 pounds. That's 160 bucks. Now, of course, if you're buying a normal stock nozzle from Bamboo, we know that the price is around about 31 pounds or just under 40 bucks. So this would have to last many times over for it to be cost effective. But we are going to be building some stuff with Fibron, as I've already said several times already through this. And of course, we're going to be doing some projects for PCB Way and also some prep work for Smurf this year, which is going to be happening in Manchester in December. So we have got some carbon fiber infused stuff here right now and this is going to be forming part of the death racer so what i'm hoping to see over a longer term is that this will outperform a stop nozzle by at least four times this isn't a test that i'm going to be able to undertake in such a short term however i am assured that the technical specs around this are forthcoming but based on diamondback's reputation it should go on and on and on Let's talk about print quality. Now, precision is the name of the game with this hot end. The diamond core ensures a smoother extrusion surface, which leads to better consistency and cleaner layer lines. This results in sharper details, whether you're printing intricate models or larger scale projects. Plus, the nozzle's superior thermal conductivity helps maintain stable extrusion temperatures, which means fewer issues on under and over extrusion. Durability and precision aside, there is also the matter of efficiency because this hot end should last much longer than stock. It reduces the downtime and of course maintenance. But to be fair, up until now, many of my bamboo printers that I have, I would guess I've probably only had to swap out a handful of them over the last couple of years. However, it's important to understand that I'm mainly using PLA, PETG and ASA. Now this X1 Carbon will be my main machine for carbon infused materials ongoing. So no pressure. So in this studio, I am running two Bamboo Lab X1 Carbons, and on the other one, I am using the Ossidian High Flow Nozzle by E3D. Now, knowing your nozzles is kind of one of those weird paradoxes that you'll see something and go, well, that's really expensive. Why is it better now? High Flow is obviously for faster flow of your filament, whereas the abrasive one, which is the new Diamondback one, is going to be for your more abrasive filaments. Now, alternatively, you could just print PLA or PETG just using the Diamondback Nozzle. Now, that would be absolutely fine, and it would probably last you forever, but... Ideally, you need to understand the reasons why you're going to be using these types of nozzles and where it's going to affect you from a price point of view and also from a printing point of view. So while we're printing, let me walk you through some of the key highlights of the E3D Diamondback upgrade. So number one is an easy hot end upgrade. One of the best features and it's very straightforward as a drop in replacement for the X1 Carbon and the P1 series. No complicated adjustments or tweaks. You just swap it in and it's ready to go. Plus, you can keep using your original Bamboo Lab profiles without any changes to your setup. Two, it's licensed and approved by Bamboo Lab themselves. Now, unlike the generic options, this nozzle is officially endorsed and licensed by Bamboo Lab. It's built to their exacting standards and is the only third party hot end approved by them for their printers. So, you know, it's going to work seamlessly with their ecosystem. Number three, the use of diamonds. Now, with the rise of tougher materials like fiber filled or ceramic filaments, the need for high abrasive resistant nozzles has grown. The Diamondback's solid diamond tip isn't just tough. Well, it's the toughest, offering unmatched resistance to wear and tear 
no matter the material. Number four, next level precision. Now this nozzle is built for accuracy. The diamond tip is not a coating, but a solid insert. Now this gives you the edge when it comes to producing finely detailed prints. Diamonds are the hardest materials on earth and that kind of precision makes a huge difference in print quality. Number five, it's built to last and thanks to the polycrystalline diamond technology, which is obviously a mouthful, these nozzles outlast traditional ones by a huge margin. Plus their excellent thermal conductivity improves the bond between print layers, giving you a stronger, more reliable prints with better adhesion. Finally, number six, great value for professionals. Now, even with the price tag of being £125 or 160 bucks, this nozzle does offer incredible value, especially if you're running a professional or industrial setup. It can handle even the toughest of filaments without wearing out quickly, saving you time and money in the long run by reducing nozzle replacements and maintenance downtime. So I think the results really speak for themselves. Um, is it worth the upgrade? Yeah, I think if you're printing those type of materials, then absolutely this could be the solution for you. Thank you to E3D. Thank you to the Polymaker and also PCBWay. As always, in the description, there will be some affiliate links. If you decide that you want to buy one of these, well, please do it via that link. It helps the channel out. Thanks for watching, guys. We will see you next time. Bye for now. You are watching a master at work.